Greetings. Um, I've been working on the Arduino kit for the last couple of weeks and so I've developed a mini project. I would like you to tell me what you think and um, we'll go straight into the project. Uh, it's a comprehensive car parking system. It looks very scatty. looks like spaghetti, I understand, but um, I'm hoping to develop this even further and pull into some kind of housing. I've used an RFID tag to open a gate. Um, some secure buildings actually have this system already in place. So a car is going. Touches the sensor. The barrier opens. Then the car's going through the barrier into the building. And then it closes. Now I did that a bit fast by the way, but there is a sensor there. I'm going to show you a bit slowly. The car goes into the building. Uh, oh, shows it up that the barrier opens. And then it goes past the sensor, the optical sensor on the other side. There you go. Then the barrier closes. You can keep doing this. Okay, up until it reaches zero. If you look at the um, LCD display, the number's going down. You get all the spaces going down by one each time. So now, the car's going. Okay, there you go. Now, last time. Car's gone past. Now look at the LCD display. It says no spaces yet. Now if anybody else wants to come to join the party in the car park, they come, access denied, because car park is full. Somebody has to leave. Let someone leave. They're getting bored of the party. So let's go. Flashing red light. And then one space is available. Another person wants to leave. They're getting bored. Okay. Then. It increases. So on for so on. Until whatever number you want. But the idea it has a minimum maximum. I've set four on here. But you can set the limit to however, however number you want. It could be 100. It could be 90, 50. Four is just a simple work number to work with. Now let me go through the hardware of the entire system. I've used a... Um, stepper motor some people would prefer to use servo motors fine um, i've just found this easy to work with but it does require an additional auxiliary power supply unit and because this requires current that the arduino will not be able to supply directly so this kit comes with, with the arduino itself it's an external power supply unit this is the interface for the stepper motor You've got your optical sensor. This comes with the Arduino as well. Um, this is the LCD display. I've used the Mega 2560. I just because it has more inputs and outputs. And but the Uno, um, the other version, the main version of um, Arduino has more libraries. This is I found has limited libraries to work with the sensors. So you have to do lots of twerking and just lots of playing around and a lot of research. But it's still a comprehensive system. And then you've got your RFID, um, you've got your receiver here, there's your tag. And um, then you've got your optical center. This obviously is not with Arduino. I actually had this lying around, it's an industrialized um, optical center. And um, this requires a high voltage just to power up. I managed to reduce it, minimize it, so it outputs just enough voltage for the Arduino. This is not practical. And I actually had a relay, a, a reverse relay, where I would power this into a relay in a reverse direction and it will switch on to the Arduino. But the relay got damaged, I think, because it's no longer working. But anyway, the system is quite comprehensive and I'm hoping to house this. And um, I'm going to also send you the coding on the link below. And just tell me what you think. Any suggestions? Okay, have a nice day.